Alright gamers, welcome back to Pokemon Crystal, my name is Envoyance, and today we are in the Kanto region. We just arrived at Vermilion last episode, saw there's a Snorlax blocking our way uh, to the east, but uh, we'll, we'll see what's going on here in Vermilion while we're here. A new chap right here. Over many years, Diglett dug a large tunnel. That tunnel goes to a distant town. Alright, good to know. So I almost want to play this as if I don't know what Kanto looks like, but it's hard to. <laughs> There are eight gyms in Kanto, the big building is Vermilion's Pokemon Gym. So this one, right here, we'll get to that. I just want to explore Vermilion City here for a second. Do you know about the Magnet Train? It's a railway that goes to Goldenrod in Johto. Oh, interesting. I want to go to Saffron to see the Magnet Train. So that's another thing, between the events of uh, red, blue, yellow, gold, uh, green, whichever. Pokemon Fan Club, all Pokemon fans woke. Uh, they built the train that runs, um, to, uh, Goldenrod. I love the way Clefairy waggles its finger when it's trying to use a metronome. It's so adorable. So there's the, uh, it's the chairman who talks forever. I'm the chairman of the Pokemon Fan Club. I've raised over 150 Pokemon, and I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. Did you visit just to hear about my Pokemon? Sure. Good, listen up. So my favorite, Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart. Unblurably, plus amazing. Oh, do you think so? Too much. Wild. Beautiful. Kindly. Love it. Hug it when sleeping. Warm and cuddly. Oh, and spectacular. Ravishing. Simply divine. Oh, look at the time. I've kept you too long. Thank you for hearing me out. I want you to have this. I had a rare candy for listening to some idiot, you know, spew nonsense for ten minutes. That's no problem. It's a rare candy that makes Pokemon stronger. I prefer making my Pokemon stronger by battling so you can have it. Gee, thanks, pal. <laughs> very, very odd fellow, but he says the exact same thing in uh, the other games. Look at my darling bay leaf. The leaf on his head is so cute. Yeah, too bad it's a bad Pokemon. <laughs> Our chairman is very vocal when it comes to Pokemon. Yeah, I know, I just talked to him. <laughs> he didn't shut up, either, so. Got that going on. Now, it's funny, funny detail here. This Kanto Seaside Gateway, luxury liners of around the world talk here. This old man's been building this damn plot of land for years. And he's still not complete. My Pokemon is preparing the land for construction. But I have no money to start the project. So, this guy's Pokemon's been preparing the land for, like, since since the events of the last game, so... This chop's growling, I'll stop me But he has no money, so that's why it hasn't started. They built a foundation, it looks like. That's something new. <laughs> That's all he's been able to get done, it looks like. This is a fishing guru's house last game, so what is it? What does he got there? Oh, the fishing dude, the other the fishing bros. Have you seen the fishing guru at the Lake of the Rage? He dreams about seeing the world's greatest magic card. If you don't mind, could you show him any magic carp you catch? Who knows? You may catch the magic carp of his dreams. Yep, no, no thanks. Right, well, uh, we did heal up our Pokemon before leaving the boat, but I. I figure there's people to talk here, sleeping Pokemon in front of Diglett's cave. It's a fantastic opportunity to get it, but how do you wake it up? I don't know. The fast ship is the great place to meet and battle trainers. I just was there. Oh, you have some badges I've never seen before. Oh, I get it. You got them in Johto. I did. So, um, there, there's Kanto stuff going on, which is nice. But, uh, now I'm, I'm gonna do a little, little bit of a spoiler here is the way you wake up Snorlax here is through a Poke Gear uh, song on the radio. But I don't know if we have it unlocked. I don't believe so. But we'll, we'll see if it does. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I don't remember how this radio works, honestly. I'm trying to tune the radio dial and it's just not working. <laughs> I don't remember if there's a secret to it or... Might need to like get it activated for Kanto or something, because I can't I can't figure it out. <laughs> but anyway, so Snorlax is gonna remain there. It looks like. Um, but while we're here in Vermilion City, we might as well take on a damn gym badge or gym battle. And uh, the first gym we can access, I'm gonna do them out of order because this is how the progression works. Is Lieutenant Surge's gym. So let's see here, Vermilion City Pokemon Gym Leader Lieutenant Surge, the Lightning American. Cool. So, Vermilion City Pokemon Gym. There's our, there's our guy. 
Yo, Chairman Mackey, you lucked out this time. Lieutenant Third is very cautious. He has traps set all over the deal. But, uh, <laughs> traps aren't active right now. You'll have no problem getting to Lieutenant Surge. So, yeah, the traps are inactive, but, uh... Because, uh, if you've ever played any of the games, uh, it, it, it is a pain in the ass and a half to get through. So it looks like, uh, we're gonna have a problem because it's an electric-type gym, but, uh... We'll do, we'll do the training otherwise. Uh, we'll battle the trainers, why not, here. And Surge recognize my potential with electric Pokemon. Think you can beat me? I, yeah, I do. So, uh, nice is we get a different battle theme when we're in Kanto. So, enjoy that while we can. Oh, I didn't know poison didn't affect, uh, electric. So that's nice, is, uh, do get a little change of pace for the first time in a while. As we do get a different battle theme here, so you can appreciate. And the Pokemon are somewhat leveled correctly. Not the gym lackeys, but I'm pretty sure the gym, uh, the gym leader's Pokemon are. So, that's nice. Voltorb next. That'll be okay, because it's not Steel-type. I'll train Weeping Bell, because this is my weakest right now. Nice. It's 12 levels over that Pokemon, I would imagine it would go well. Another Mag Magnemite. Let's keep using Razor Leaf, I guess. This one's higher level than the last one, though. And of course not very effective, but we did get a crit, so that's nice. Lastly, another Magnemite. Oh. We got lucky last time, we'll stick it out, why not? Maybe we get lucky again. Oh, not, not quite, but closer. Mm, Razor Leaf is gonna do it here. Should at least. Nice. How shocking. And we immediately come back into another battle. I'm going to take you down. Prepare to be shocked. Oh. I see. You believe that you will take me down. Good luck. I was complaining about uh, getting, uh, getting killed by, um, self-destructs last time, uh, last episode. And Electrode is one Pokemon that, uh, does that every so often, but we're stuck in a rollout right now, so uh, at least I won't get self-destructed on, but that is also very, very annoying, so. Just, you know, putting that out there. Electrode again. Oh, we'll be alright. We're gonna have an exact mirror of the last battle, except this time I really did first. As it was on the first uh, rollout, not the second, or the fifth. And two acid, finish it off, of course. Another electrode, I guess we could do this all day. I have to throw a potion at Weeping Bell here, but that's okay. Maybe not if I missed his first roll out there. Yeah, we can do this all day long. <laughs> Same exact outcome, too, of course. It's a fourth Pokemon and Electrode? Whoa! Never would have guessed. So we'll do it again. Exact same battle. Acid twice while getting rolled out twice. As long as this last one isn't a crit. Probably shouldn't have said that because I uh, tend to get 
screwed over when I say stuff like that. <laughs> that was a very simple battle. Exact same thing over and over. Who could ask for more? You were not overpowered, my friend here. You got too comfortable about beating me. Those Ennis Surge is tough. The gym straps were working, you would have been toast. I don't know how your lackluster battle skills would have uh, translated to that, but you're here to defeat Lieutenant Surge. Not if I can help it. I think that's his, uh, that's his war buddy, this guy. Because there's an old man in the gym who said that he was in the war with uh, Lieutenant Surge. They never give context, obviously, but you can probably assume that it was probably like Vietnam because Lieutenant Surge is probably like 40 or 50. So, these games came out in the 90s, so, you know, probably, probably Vietnam, but, <laughs> who knows. Flaif. Cut and got through the Pikachu. No razor leaf the Flaffy, too, why not? This is some good training going on. Oh, rip. I might die to that. I thought it was going to be just enough, but no, we're okay. We're going to be okay. So, there we go. Oh, just, I hate that so much. Sorry, I failed you, Lieutenant Surge, sir. When I was still in the army, Lieutenant Surge saved my life. Yep, so, there they are. But, uh, before we get into that, I'm going to go, uh, heal up. I'm a lazy bastard, so I'm just going to surf around the tree. <laughs> Trees there for deck. You know, for, it's, it's there for a roadblock in um, Gen 1, but you know, here it's kind of like as if I care. Come on, I don't. Alright, so my party's gonna look very weird. So I'm gonna put, I'm not gonna put, I'm gonna put the weaklings in order here. <laughs> So, Pidgeot, Gyarados. For Alligator, I'm actually going to keep a little bit backward. Put Weep and Bell up. Third. Nidoking. Nah. Weird party, but I just figured, yeah, Pidgeot's not going to have a good time. Gyarados is not going to have a good time. For Alligator, stronger, so it could withstand not having a good time a little longer. And then, um... Like, weeping, or I mean, Sudowoodo is literally going to have a ball because it's a rock type. Alright, so let's get, go see what uh, this guy's all about here. Hey, you little tyke! I have to hand it to you. It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I did my enemies in war. Electrocuted people? I think that's against uh, a couple statutes of the Geneva Convention, but no nonetheless, let's get in a battle here. Get a, get a different gym battle theme, of course. Gotta love that. Let's hit five Pokemon. First, starts out with his Raichu. Let's see. Gym Leader's Pokemon are pretty much accurately leveled. Let's just get, let's get P Pidgey out of there so he doesn't get Thundershocked or Thunderweaved. No, nope, can't help it, but. Ah, it wasn't fast enough. I'll be able to get a second attack at least. Unless Thunder can be. Yep, I figured that. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, Thunder's gonna be able to be used anywhere, isn't it? And yes, it can. It's a Rip Pidgeot. Now, Gyarados is water flying, so Gyarados is very effective to this stuff. Use Hydro Pump because it's strong. I don't remember if Hydro Pump needs a uh, recharge. I think it does. So 
and we'll just take him out for a second here. But, I mean, I was kind of struggling against the Magn Magnemites earlier, but I'll put Weeping Bell out against that, why not? Just Razor Leaf like 50 times and we'll be on our way, right? Okay, good. I thought we were going to start missing every damn attack because of the double team, but that will be okay, probably. I'm good, it missed a strong move, thank you. And I missed a regular move, and I missed a strong move. And I, I hit this one. So if luck will have it uh, the way I think it will. Okay, good, no, I missed. And the Tenant Sir doesn't use potions, so that's nice, too. I'll, I'll deal with, I'll take that. Electabuzz. I'll throw Gyarados back out, why not? Because the recharge would probably be done. I, I don't know if you can ev actually evade that. Yeah, you can. Nice. Uh, oh no, you don't have to recharge. Well, shit. That would've been nice to know. I swear to god, you did have to. Maybe in future... Oh, come on. In future generations you do, but... Yeah. Wasn't right, I wasn't actually expecting you would die there. <laughs> but nonetheless... Finish it off. Oh, he does have a hyper potion. He picks and chooses which Pokemon to use, not just whatever first Pokemon gets hurt. So he probably likes his Electabuzz a little more. I mean, it's higher level than the rest I've seen, so I get it. That's, that's his uh, that's his Pokemon of choice. Oh, I forgot Nido King has Earthquake. I, I mean, if I get in a jam, I could just do that all day long. Yeah, and I'm fully paralyzed. I thought I was going to be able to get an attack in first. I think I'm just going to throw a Feraligator out there to die. This battle is actually a little harder than I was expecting, but that's also... I am very, very... endangered to Electric-type Pokémon. I just am. Because I have Feraligator, Gyarados, and, um, fucking Pidgeot. Literally, like, dying over here. Oh, come on! How does he faster than me? He lost speed. But yeah, I mean, like, legitimately dying over here. It's half of my party is very affected. I thought that th I thought that electric didn't affect rock as well as ground, but holy shit, that is strong. Hopefully this will kill it because this electabuzz is actually getting on my nerves a little bit. <laughs> Electrode. That'll be all right. I don't have any ground moves. No, just rock and fighting. Okay, I was worried that Sudowoodo was going to miss because I thought he had bad accuracy, but now we're okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Son of a bitch. Okay, good. I got worried that Uru was going to explode and ruin it. So I, I gotta choose my words a little better, clearly. It's not, ex it's not self destruct that bothers me. It's also explosion. That's, what I, that's the words that I had to choose. Nonetheless, it's still very annoying, so... Alright, cool. We did it! We got our first Kanto Gym badge. That's nice. Ugh! 
Ah, you are strong. Okay, kid. You get the Thunder Badge. Yay, we got Lay Thunder Badge. Thunder Badge increases Pokemon speed. Consider it proof that you defeated me. You wear it proudly, here. Still slugging and jugging away. My Pokemon and I are still at it. Pokemon and I, that's what he, that's what he said. I can't read. Well, that was an electrifying bout. I'm sure it made me nervous. That's, that's, that's good. Good for you, man. Glad it made you nervous. It also made me very nervous. Not really, but you know. Uh, oh, yeah, it actually, it, it did make me a little nervous at some point. Because I did worry that I was gonna die. Because, like, ha like I said, half of my party is very, um, affected by electric-type Pokémon, but now we'll get back to the correct uh, order here for leveling here. And that, that, that's it. Okay. So, I know, I know these uh, episodes this week are kind of short, but uh, before we uh, go on to the next area of Kanto, I do want to take a, take a sleep here. Um, so, we'll, we'll be back next week exploring what's north of Vermilion City. So, uh, until next time, thank you for watching, and more than ever, take care.